everyone and welcome back to Story of Seasons, a trio of towns and we are in West Town today getting ready to get our very first chicken. I'm so excited you guys. We're going to come over and we are going to be talking to Allison over here who apparently is saying something really interesting. Like, look at that. Moo, baba, cock-a-doodle-doo. She is trying to get our attention so that we'll come over and shop at her animal shop. How adorable is that? But we have enough money, you guys. We have got over 6,000 gold. So I think that we're safe to buy a chicken and a few wonderful treats for our little chickadoo. So let's go ahead and talk to Allison. Welcome to Animal Instincts. What can I do for you? What'll it be? And I want to buy some animals. So we're gonna come over and we are gonna try buying a chicken. <gasps> I'm so excited. So we're gonna get an adult chicken. Oh my gosh, we could have cows. They have different personalities. We could have a, I totally forgot animals have different personalities. So I think their personalities will actually affect how quickly they gain certain traits, um, how quickly they'll become friendly to you, what kind of production they will actually put off. So I need to look all of those things up again, but just how adorable is this chicken? Chicken, and that you can have different types of cows. Oh, I didn't even think about the fact that we should get a cow, but we're gonna start with chickens because I absolutely adore these little fluffy floofs. So we're gonna get an adult chicken. Gentle sounds like it's a perfect personality for us. And I already have a name picked out. Where will the chicken live? Inside of my chicken coop, of course. And we are going to purchase the adult chicken. What would I like to name it? I would actually like to give this little one a name that we mentioned yesterday, Whiplash should suggested. So we're getting a chicken with radish money because we sold our radishes to be able to afford it. So we are gonna name this little one Radish. I hope it fits, come on. All right, come on, <gasps> just enough. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember all names of all animals have to be only six characters. That's so hard, but we have a little radish. All right. All right, my little hen hen, we're gonna put you straight into, come on, there we go. Uh, is the name Radish okay? It sure is. <gasps> I did it, it's been sent to my farm. You guys, I have a chicken. Okay, I think I need to buy some items to like make sure I can take a care of my chicken. So let's see, Um, maybe a brush. I probably need a brush. The pitchfork you actually want to use to clean out your barn. I think maybe your chicken coop too. So that that way you can keep everything nice and tidy and it'll keep the animals from getting stressed. They can actually get stressed and they can actually die of old age after a while, which I thought was kind of stunning. All right, we've got normal chicken feed. Um. Mm, can hold up to seven pieces. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna buy like, whoa, I'm gonna, well, I think our uncle is supposed to pop by and give us some chicken feed, so I'm gonna wait just a second. But we also had some great advice from Steph Cardzo, or Cardos, excuse me, who gave me some great advice saying, you really want to focus on giving your chicken chewy treats when the time comes that we're able to get chewy treats. We can only have soft treats right now, but the chewy treats will actually increase the production of our chicken chicken and that means we may get more eggs from her every day which would be so amazing right now we can only buy the soft treat and that will increase our animals affection towards us but that can also be done by using the brush and keeping them happy taking them outside eventually we can have animals that will help us on our farm who will actually herd our chickens and cows outside every day so we don't have to worry about doing it but for now let's go ahead and buy a brush I think it's gonna be really important to have that I don't like we need a pitchfork just yet because like our chicken isn't exactly the messiest thing just as soon as we get it but we're gonna we have a pitchfork now um and then let's go ahead and let's go let's go see how little radish is doing <gasps> oh look at that cow care sheep care chicken care we've got new guidebooks and our bookshelf back at home we can check out let's also come talk to horatio to see what's going on with our part-time jobs in west town today i'm really sorry horatio i didn't know i needed i needed something so specific okay any kind of egg. I don't have any eggs or milk yet. And then we also have wood cutting and then someone to deliver a package to Ford. Uh, we could do the wood cutting. Let's do the wood cutting super fast because it's only gonna take like half a second. And that will be chicken money. 150 gold can go a long way to getting treats for our little hen hen. I'm so excited. Oh, and I need to give Ford some gifts. Oh gosh, I've been so busy just taking care of like the harvest goddess and fishing rods the last couple days. I don't know if I've been giving enough gifts. All right, so we're gonna chop 10 pieces of wood for Ford. I'm on this. All right, no problem. 
totally easy peasy. This is kind of adorable because it really does kind of add to the idea that you're helping out around town. People can see you kind of at the edges, cutting wood so that the doctor can like work on his clinic or rushing around and delivering flowers for Lizette is one of my all time favorite things because it's just so adorable. All right, and there we go. Is he gonna pay us extra? Because we did the nasty sweaty work that he doesn't want. Whoa, 240? Four, thank you. Wow, he was being really generous. That was a lot more than advertised. All right, so let's see. Do I have anything I could give him? A lot of you guys are torn between wanting me to give Ford uh, my attentions or wanting me to go with Wayne. It's really fun. We've only seen two of the bachelors though, you guys, and I think that there's a better fit for somebody who's like my real life beloved chips. And I wanna meet all of them before we start deciding on what romantic route we wanna go down. But for now, let's go ahead because he gave me such a nice tip. And let's give Ford our little piece of aloe vera. Where is he? There he is. I first moved to this town for its abundant supply of exceptionally pure water. Large quantities of clean water are critical in making medicine. In fact, there are several medicines I can make only in this region. That's actually really cool. I love learning facts like that. That is so neat. All right. Ford, I am going to be giving you this aloe vera. I hope you enjoy. It's quite nice. Maybe you could set it up in the little petri dish pot. Hmm, this is for me, is it? An excellent choice. You have a firm grasp of my preferences. Wonderful. So now he's going to turn it into some sort of sample that's really cool. All right, and he's going to tell us about the abundantly clean water. I love all of the little science experiments he has in his clinic. And we're gonna run on down. Uh, while I'm over here, actually, since we're already all the way up here, I'm gonna run inside and pick up some radish seeds. Oh, hi, Noelle. Guess what? Mr. Frank comes by and buys a lot of stuff at our shop. He says it's cause we have a lot of stuff that farmers need a lot. I'm sure that means you'll find stuff you want for your farm at our shop too, Siri. Oh, thank you, Noelle. Gosh, she's just the cutest. All right, so let's go ahead and I am going to buy a few more radish seeds because the radishes seem to play out a little bit better because we can turn around and sell them sooner than the potatoes. So I'm going to get, how many can I get? Can I get four? I can, that's just gonna be really tight on the money. I think it's worth it though. So I'm gonna make the investment of getting four things of radish seeds. Um, well, would I have enough energy to water all of them? Well, might as well try. <laughs> better to try than not try at all, I guess. All right, thank you, Miranda. I do want to say hello to her too, though. Welcome, if there's anything you're thinking of buying, come on up and talk to me at the counter. Nice to see you, Miranda. Oh, I love when you can just do the quick hellos too. But we've got a chicken to go see, you guys, so I don't have time to run around town at the moment. I want to go see my chicken. Hi, little puppy, I'll give you a pet though. It's only polite to pet the puppies. And then I can't wait till we figure out how to get our hammer and we can start mining. We already can do our fishing. I bet that Marco, who used to run the restaurant, the retired fisherman, I bet he would love to have a fish. And I haven't sold my fish yet. Hey, Marco. Let Brad know if you find any new and interesting ingredients. He likes inspiration for new recipes, you know. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so let's give Marco one of the fish we got. Um, I'm gonna give him the killy fish because it's not really worth a lot. Ew, I don't want to eat it raw. No, thank you on that. Is this for me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Thank ya. So I give him like the killy fish while he's catching a much bigger fish. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Most days, once noon comes around, I finish up in the restaurant and head down to do some fishing. Evenings, I play poker with Therens. That's so cool. And how are you doing today, Megan? Good to see you doing well, Siri. I could I could stand to be as chipper as you. Oh, Megan, thank you. We're a family of farmers, too. So if there's anything you don't understand, come over and ask. We'll be happy to help. Oh, that's so cool. And meanwhile, I'm still becoming friends with the Mongoose family. Oh, that's so fun. All right, we'll run over here. There's the cat. I feel a little sad to know that the cats and dogs are just placeholders for uh, street pass events and not actual animals that I could I could bring home with me because I totally would. Oh, look at that. Wow, I don't know if I've ever noticed that almost dream catchery type thing before. That's really pretty. All right, but let's go meet Radish. Oh, sorry, kitty cat. Oh, I can at least give you a little pet to make up for like walking into him. Let's go meet Radish, our little hen hen. I'm so excited. Oh, and then while we're over here, I should probably ship the fish. <laughs> I've been holding on to these fish for too long. All right. Rainbow trout and the smelt can both go in there. And everything else I'll hold on to. All right, let's see. 
Radish, 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 my little hen hen. Radish. <gasps> Look at how cute it is! Look at his tail! Radish! Radish, I love you. Can I take him outside and like put him in the yard so he can, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> you guys, we have a hen. Look at it, it looks happy and healthy today. I am so happy right now. Okay, I need to get my little brush. So let me get my brush out. And can I brush my little my little chicken? Can I, can I brush you? Oh, I think you can only brush the other animals. <laughs> so I have been exceptionally silly. Um, I, I kind of supposed that I could brush a, a chicken because you can actually uh, rub like the back of a chicken's ears or the back of their head, just like most bird species. And they usually love it if they enjoy being handled. My finches would hate that. But my brother's cockatiel and my mom's Quaker parrot, oh, did they ever love head scratches? That's what we called it. So I wonder if leaving you out here is going to feed you. But now I'm worried I'm not going to be able to feed radish. Let's try going inside and reading what it takes to take care of a hen. And then if I need to go buy that, that food oh it's so dark in here if i need to go buy that food we need to go get our hands on some of it like asap before that little shop closes all right let's see oh fishing nice we have a guide about fishing now we have a guide about wireless play and whoops i saw it i saw it and then i dropped all of my books on the ground yet again let's collect them back up and chicken care there are five important things to know about taking care of chickens collecting eggs Petting, feeding, grazing, and treats. Caring for your chickens will raise their affection for you. Chickens with high affection will lay higher quality eggs and will be more likely to win contests. Collecting eggs. Chickens will lay eggs on the ground. Oh, thank goodness there's an egg and not something else. I would be a little concerned if it was just like, I well, actually, it would be kind of cool if it was like rubies or something. But that's an entirely different game. Pick them up to collect them. Petting. If you press the A button when you have nothing equipped, you can pick up and pet your chicken. Feeding. Insert chicken feed into the coop's feeding area to feed your chickens. Chicken feed can be bought at animal shops. Oh, so I did end up buying myself an obligation. Oh, wait, grazing? What's this? Grazing. If you pick up your chickens, you can take them outside or move them back into the coop. Taking them outside on sunny days to decrease, take them outside on sunny days to decrease their stress. Let them graze for at least one hour per day for good health. That's so cool. So you can't just like pop them outside and be like, there, you're done. You have to leave them out for at least an hour so that they can be happy. Grazing in bad weather will raise their stress. So on those days, leave them indoors. Treats. Equip a treat, such as a soft treat, and stand next to your chicken. Press the A button to feed it to them. You can only give an animal one treat per day. You can check on the amount in your animal notebook. Okay, nice. All right, so I need to go buy some chicken feed, like right now. Thankfully, the part-time jobs should cover at least one chicken feed event per day. I need to really hoof it to get over there, though. And I really want to get Radish a friend. Chickens do better in flocks. We need another hen hen. I need another name for another adorable hen hen. I need to come up with like a, li a big list of, of hen hen names that we can use based off of what you guys suggest. Uncle Frank, I need help. Your pa's my big brother and he left your care in my hands. So if you need anything, come to me. I'll help you the best I can. Uncle Frank, please, I need, I need some chicken feed. Uncle Frank, Uncle Frank. All the nature around these parts means lots of wild animals. Some of them can get mischievous, but they're all cute in their own way. Uncle Frank, why? <laughs> he's feeling really good right now, but he's not- ah! No! Mischievous bear! I guess I should put out some, some fish for the bear. Maybe the next killifish I get, I'll leave out for the little bear. All right, quickly over here, you guys. We've got to get some chicken feed. Hello, Allison. I am back and I need some chicken feed. All right, so let's go ahead and we are going to buy um the normal chicken feed and i'm gonna get two of them for now hopefully she's open every day i'm gonna be in big trouble whoops i didn't want to try <laughs> i can't buy another animal else and i'm sorry um and then i was gonna try buying a treat for radish even though it's kind of silly i and i, I don't really have a lot of money left i want to do this i want to buy a sweet soft treat or a little soft treat for radish now i'm completely broke no i didn't want to buy the animal I'm sorry, Al no, Allison, let me go. Allison, help. Okay, there we go. She really wanted me to buy more animals, but she literally took all my money, so she's just being silly. All right, let's see what else we can do for part-time jobs today. And we can do postal carrier, looking for someone to deliver a package to Ford. We can't accept this job. Ah, because we missed the time. All right, well, that's all right. At least I was thinking about trying. 
All right, let's come on up and talk to Wayne for a second. Ha, huh, Siri. Even though you've been working since dawn, you got plenty of energy to spare, don't you? I'm real impressed by a woman like that. Oh, well, thank you, Wayne. Interesting. All right, and let's go ahead. I'm going to give him the last moon drop I have just because I can. Okay, Wayne, I literally threw that like over your head. I didn't mean it like that. I mean, part of me wants to give the moon drop flower to Lizette instead, but I think it'd be fun because I, I really, he's growing on me, Wayne is. Oh, hey, did you know I like these? Thanks. I appreciate the thought. And actually, Wayne probably looks the most- Oh, it's a piece of lumber! Yes, look at all these rocks! Wayne, what you doing hiding all these pebbles on me? I could use these! Sweet! Alright, those lumber pieces. Thank you guys for letting me know. I really want to stop selling them and start saving them better. Because the lumber will be really important to upgrading my little home. So I definitely want to sit on top of those. And I think you also need lumber if you are ever going to be able. And I'm searching for other free stuff. That's what I'm doing right now. You also want to have lumber if you're going to be able to get the pet houses built. And you can have up to 12 pets. 12 whole pets at a time. Isn't that amazing? All right. And actually, you know what? There's been a lot of good fishing. Let's fish with Marco for just a second. And then we'll go in and we'll take good care of our little, um, then we'll take good care of our little radish. I do need to get like a whole list of names for the animals though and keep it prepped. All right, Marco, you just got a big old fish. I want a big old fish. We can do some big old fishing together. I'm feeling like a million gold today. That's so cute. All right, come on. And come on. Look, Marco and I are both fishing together. Isn't this the cutest thing? I can't even do this in Sims 4 with my Sims anymore. I really miss being able to fish together. Sockeye salmon. Oh, he caught a dead fish. Look at that. Did you guys see that? What on earth do you do with just like a dead fish? That's so interesting. All right. And we've got a little, little, oh no, come back, come back. This is like Animal Crossing fishing all over again. Oh, and then Marco gave up. He got, he got a little cranky. Maybe, maybe I'm fishing out his area now. I think he's just tired, but can I get something good? <gasps> Another rainbow trout! A new record size! Oh, Lizette, how are you doing? Sure is a great day, isn't it? This spring is called the Goddess Spring. The old stories here say there's an actual goddess that lives here. Oh, that's so sweet. I am so in love with everybody. I can't help it, you guys. I, you know, to be completely honest, I wasn't sure how you guys would take Story of Seasons, but I just know that I love it so much and I'm so happy and I'm enjoying it so much that it's going to be something. It's just my happy place. My happy place. It's always so special when you find a game, a world, a thing that becomes your happy place. And this is definitely mine. I hope you guys are enjoying it, too. All right, so let's see. Do I want to put anything else in the shipping bin? Let's put in this rainbow trout and, ooh, this sockeye salmon. And then let's go ahead and we're going to go take care of radish. And then we're going to take care of our radishes. So we'll have to see what we can pull off. Come on, little radish. Time for you to go back inside. And I think you can expand the field so that your animals aren't like super stock, uh, like just stacked on top of each other. All right, so I'm going to hold this. And I guess I need to put one here. Let's add some chicken feed. Do one. <gasps> Look, that's so cute. You just kind of sprinkle it in there. All right, so there's that. And radish is in here. Let's give radish a little treat. So if I wanted to grab the soft treat, I'm gonna hold it. All right, radish, I've got you a little soft treat. Are you gonna enjoy it? I really hope so. Can I, can I see you? <gasps> Look how cute. Oh, I love her. I'm so in love. This is the best chicken. She's the best. She is the best that exists. The best around. The best chicken ever. I don't know what to name all her siblings. Maybe like cabbage, potato. <laughs> we'll have to figure it out. So we'll leave her be. And I guess she's just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, spend the night in there. Be a good little hen hen. Um, and I really, let's see if I can get some more radish seeds put down. I know you're supposed to water your crops twice a day if you can, but maybe at least having them down on the ground like this. Oh no, can I eat some? Do I have any food left? Uh, I have walnuts. All right, I'm going to try eating all of my walnuts. And that gave me a little bit of energy, so maybe I'll have enough to at least start watering my radishes. But I really need to learn how to cook because I'm pushing my poor little Siri to the edge here. Oh, I don't think I can risk watering them. <laughs> Do I have anything else I can eat? 
I have her chicken feed, but I don't think I could eat her chicken feed. Oh, you guys, I don't think I can water my radishes. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going to have to control how much I um I use up of her energy more in the future because I'm not watering my plants enough. So that'll be one of my new goals is to figure out how to balance our energy levels a little bit better. But I have a chicken and I've learned how to do some fishing. And let's see. I want to check on trophies because I think we unlocked another trophy. Look at this! There's so many trophies to do! Cook uh, at least 700 dishes, collect at least 200 recipes. Yay! We got use a fishing rod for the first time, and use a fishing rod for 10 times is when we unlock another little trophy. Man, I am such a sucker for doing little trophy things, so we'll have to play more with that. I need to come up with a big list of names that we can name all the animals on our farm. So if you guys have a, you know, if you all have any, any suggestions, then let me know. And then I'll see you guys next time when we're going to continue pecking away at our farm alongside our adorable little radish, our very first pet that we have on the farm. That's so cool. And we'll have to see if we can manage the energy a little bit better and figure out the mystery of when the heck we're going to be able to learn how to start cooking or just if we're able to start getting enough money and we're gonna put the pebbles and the rocks away and the uniform fertilizer for now but if we're ever gonna be able to get enough money that we can have our own little kitchen that's gonna be really fun but I'll see you guys next time bye bye